block it to my feet, hurt to slay her, yeah. Better yeah. off the worst, I took the good, we can pay her, yeah. I done took a vibe and they'll never come and lay her, yeah. I done took a hold down, where to kill me. back again with another episode of lit podcast like i say you know how i do it once again i bring you the hottest artists the legendary artists the up and coming and everything in between and man y'all finna rock out with me today on lit podcast before we get started hold on let me fire up everybody fire up it ain't lit if you ain't fired up you know what i'm talking about you gotta get lit but man i finna introduce a special guest man coming all the way from goddamn me north alabama been out there in the motherfucking grove i heard ten toes you know what i'm saying in dallas and shit so we finna get through it go through there with my boy chaos i mean kd psycho what's going down man what do you do man appreciate man, you for having me on down, your platform man, man. Man, say it's a blessing, man. I seen you reach out, so I had to tap in. You know what I'm saying? I had to like tap all the way in. <laughs> right, yeah, man. Like for yeah, real, man. for real. For sure. Oh yeah, for tonight's sure, gonna be a good look. But say it's for the ones who don't know. Let's start it off proper. For the ones that don't know, they finna get to know. And I'll uh, please let them know what's your name and where you from. Hey, right, this your boy smoke. KD Psycho, the psycho of the city, that down south representer, representing that 100 MG stimulate minds all over the world, man. I was born in North Alabama, but I was raised up in Dallas, Texas, man. My DNA all on them Dallas streets, man. Man, we finna talk about that DNA in them Dallas streets, man. We finna get down to it, man. We finna go ahead and just jump it off, man. Like, okay, so, man, what was the journey? What was the start? When did you leave North Alabama and, and um, come to texas yeah man i came to texas maybe like in the mid 80s around about like 85 86 man around that time i was like five or six during that time man that was that was well that was d-boy season right there in the d you know what i'm saying yeah, that man, was Jamaica, yeah. jamaican posse season season and shit. <laughs> yeah yeah, like like oh. I say, man, when I came there, man, <laughs> it was it was they was referring to Dallas as the big D at, at that time. It was the big D. Right. The big D. You know what I'm saying? So what was going on? Like at first I want to get back well, before, before I get to the Dallas thing, you know what I'm saying? I want to know what what's what's North um Alabama? What is considered? What's what is known for? Who done came up out of North Alabama? Um, right now, man, we still in the process. We still working to get our artists bigger than what they are. But but we got people in the game. We got uh Yellow Wolf. He from North Alabama. He signed with uh Slim Shady now. Um, yeah, with Slim Shady. Yeah, shout out. Yeah, Yellow Wolf. Yeah, Yellow Wolf. He signed there. And then you got some um more cats out of Huntsville, Alabama. They doing their thing too. But like you know, what I'm right. saying we still we still on the grind, man. For real, if you what ask about me, ball players? Yeah. What about them ball players? Oh man, um, you know, um, the Phillips dude, uh, Philip Rivers, he out of yeah. Athens, Alabama. They he North Alabama, so you know, they got we got some, um, I think like Ozzy New knew, Newsome knew too, that um, right owned the Baltimore Ravens at one point or another. I think he come from North Alabama too, man, so. Man, you know what there's there's some legends come from out here, but but if you ask me personally, I still think we on the grind, man. Already, man. That's just that's that's how I feel about the D too. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about the D. Your transition to the D. So like you said, you said it was the big D when you got here. Like what it, what was it like when you got here? Like what was going on? What was the music scene like? Like who was you encountering when you was getting down here? Okay, well, well, during that time though. I, I really wasn't in the music during that time like that though, you know. But what what was going around around the city? It was they was gang banging, of course. You know that was that hit the city real hard. I think it really came in kind of around that time. You know the early '80s. It was real rough around Dallas. That gang banging man. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm talking about. I'm talking about when the times when it was dangerous to be a gangster then. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fresh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. So, so boy, boys, boys was getting it for having the wrong color on, being on the wrong side of town. Just crazy right. stuff, man. Over nothing, man. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, back then, yeah, back then you had to go across the bridge to get your beer and everything. Yeah. <laughs> and shit, you was in another man's territory. 
Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so when I first came though, um, like 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 so some of these names, man, might have changed, you know what I'm saying? We gotta protect the innocent, you feel me? But you gotta be a real, you gotta be a real D Townian to know some of these names I'm finna call out because they didn't change a lot of this stuff though. But like I said, when I came in the 80s, man, we, we came to that Grove. The first plot we went to the Grove, I'm going to take you back to a place. Uh, I don't think it's there no more, but it used to be called Georgetown, man. Georgetown, so, okay. Yeah, yeah, it was right um, across the street from a school called uh, John B. Hood. You know what I'm saying? John B. So, Hood in the Grove. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. We, was, we was in that. I think, like, they probably didn't build houses there now. But at one point in time, it was a bunch of apartments there. You know what I'm saying? And that's where I really got my start at in the D, man. You know what I'm saying? Seeing the gang banging and all that for the first time. You know what I'm saying? And around that area. You know what I'm saying? So so in the Grove, they were banging when you, basically when you came to that area. So the Grove was already banging. Yeah, 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 they was. What was it? So what? So what was the goal? Uh, what was they banging at that time? It, uh, it was the in that area. It was the what, like six five, and um, in that area, the UNC. You had the unknown. UNC. Yeah, UNC. You had them. The PG. Yeah, yeah, they used to wear. They used to wear the UNC uh, jackets and jerseys. You remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah. Like I told you, during them times, it was rough. They was taking starter coats back right. in them days. <laughs> It was they take, they, they take you fast. They, they took you fast back then, for real. Yeah, nah, real yeah, talk. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, for real, for real, man. Nah, for real. Nah, for real, for real, man. So, like, what other games? Those were the only two, six, five, and uh, UNC. Yeah, that that was that was that area, the area that I was in. I was around a bunch of crips at the time. Then, right. and, and then too, and, and then too, at that time, crips way outnumbered the bloods back then it was everywhere you went it was a crip gang back then right 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 i i can uh i can contest uh, to test to that contest to that you know what i'm saying my bad you know I'm saying? Test. <laughs> but yeah i can't yeah it was like that at one point in time but then i remember that out of the blue you know like just you know keist and polk and uh and uh east dallas yeah they definitely gotta say east Dallas because y'all was right next to east dallas Definitely, so, definitely, yeah, and then yeah. see, see, so then later on, after for we went from Georgetown, then we moved a little deeper. We went to the off of the PV, John West, Senate, Delito, all the way back to the six four Ferguson area. Then I went right. down and made that transition down that way. You know what I'm saying? Man, I was locked up with a nigga from six four Ferguson back in the day. His name was Kendrick Taylor. Uh, um, okay. He got he got locked up for murder and shit like that. He was man, we was what about 17, 18, you know what I'm saying? And he was facing murder charge. I know I ain't seen him since then, but shout out to that boy. That didn't know what it is. But but you was all on more PV, okay? Yeah. So uh-huh. who was you? So at this time, like who was showing you around the city? Like who was who was your guy? Cause I know you had to have a guy or somebody you got cool with to like show you, hey man, this is what's going on. Yeah, yeah, I did. But 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 the crazy part about it is the person that I did get close to, he kind of was an out of town of himself too. You know what I'm saying? But oh, okay. But, I but think he, he was, was already like, here. Yeah, he was here too. But he had he had came from another place too. You know what I'm saying? From another state also. So that that kind of made us our bond kind of get cool because we both was from different places so we kind of journeyed those streets together you feel what i'm right. saying right yeah so are you still connected with him uh yeah yeah for sure for sure he the one that actually got me started into the rap music man and who was that uh that's my guy shout out to my guy eha oh he go by eha eha all right and he's still out here in dallas uh no no I think he did I think he moved out of Dallas but he still got ties to Dallas he still got family okay. in Dallas and all oh, really? and stuff he still got ties to Dallas so he the one who put you on to music he the one showed you around so at what that time who what type of artists in Dallas that he was putting you on to um actually see that's what that's another thing though see that's another thing at that time 
we wasn't on Dallas music like we should have been. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We we, we was trying to create our own music and our own sound because we was watching all the out of town of music and and stuff because you know we didn't really know any Dallas music at that time. So we were right. trying to create our own music, man, and, and represent right. for the for the city, man. No, nah, I can feel I can feel that. So who was y'all who was y'all influence then? Like out the outside of Dallas then. But 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 I would take I will say this though. I right, I, right. I came across, talk about it. I came across a, one of my other close partners that that he was more inclined on the music around Dallas. He the one that put me on to Dallas, but but me and his friend, he was from another group though. But he always hit me to that Dallas history music. That's why I got the Dallas music from him. You know what I mean? Okay. Right. And who was that? That's a shout out to my guy, Bunky, from the group Underground Players. Yeah, Underground Players, Bunky. Shout out, Bunky. You know what I'm saying? Bunky, yeah. what, one thing I know about Bunky, he always had deep roots in Dallas. He always stay connected and he's always dropping hot shit. You know what I'm right. saying? So, so when, so like, you know, I checked out y'all video. That shit, that shit was fire. You know what I'm saying? The everything about it was fire. So when did y'all like connect uh, or hook yeah, up? See, see, the, the, like, like, so, but so all of us, we grew up and went to the same school and stayed in okay. the same area and all. But, but like right. I say, but Bunky, he was more on to the Dallas stuff. Now, Bunky, he was the one put me on, let me know that Spud Webb, he for, come from Dallas that played for Atlanta. He let me know that he put me on to the Ron C's and the people of Dallas music was, was they got it. I got to credit that to Bunky. Bunky kept me laced with the what was going on around Dallas. You dig what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. Nah, I you did know? that all the way. Shit. So yeah, yo, you you mentioned Run C, Spud Well, you he even talk about Larry Johnson. You remember Grab My Mom? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Larry Johnson and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was more, yeah, he was the one that put me on to that, like that. But but you know what I'm saying? But like I said, we was we was we was into creating for ourselves, cause like I said, that that PV John West area, bro. We had so right. many like groups and people that's aspiring, trying to get to that level, bro. That, that that's where the motivation come from. Really, it was like I got influenced music indirectly, not directly, not hands on with the music. Right. It's how I seen the other people in my neighborhood, you know, expiring to do the same thing, bro. And you know what I'm saying at that right. time. And early in Dallas, music wise, it wasn't no beef around the city because we all had to come the same come and go. And that was to put Dallas, Texas on the map, man. That's right, what we was right. about. You did? Right. Nah, that's that's real shit. That's real shit. So what about so did you ever like at that time that you so like I know you started noticing Dallas changing. So did you ever start hearing about like, you know, the Bobo Lucianos, the big owls, you know, the, you know, you know, that whole nemesis. You know, yeah. click, you know, and uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, DJ so as Snake. I, as you know. I start growing, you know, what I'm saying I right. start getting into the music scene, but you know, early right. on, the um, you know, the influences was coming from in house, man. Everything was in house, right. man. You know what I'm right. saying? And, and and so, what was y'all biggest influence in house? What was y'all listening to, like? Like, like, what was the music that y'all was on? Uh, well, 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 my biggest influence, I would say, is I don't know if, if, if you might be familiar, but it was a group called Cabal. You know what I'm saying? One of my partners was in the group Cabal. And, you know, at the time, man. In my they, Red Rum, Red yeah, Rum, Red Rum Records, yeah, yeah. Yeah. At the time, they used to have, like, the dark bus route. They used to have billboards and things like that around yeah. the city, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Going around throwing shirts out the van to the to fans and stuff like that. So for me to see that, that was really like. And then and then another thing for me to see them on Flavor TV because I don't know if you familiar with Flavor TV, but around Dallas they Man, used to have a video about? named Flavor TV that we used to tap in yeah. every weekend. Wait, especially yeah, every people, weekend. The people down there, you better not touch that TV down in jail when Flavor Nick, TV come on. It, it was it was it was Russ Parr first, and yeah. then Skip Cheatham. Uh huh. 
Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with, with the, man, uh, shout out Russ Paul. Remember he had that drive by slapping there too with him. I, I can't think of her name, but it was a lady with with Russ Parr too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was a lady with uh Russ Parr. Yeah, uh, uh damn, uh, I was about to say Kiki, I, I but it ain't Kiki. What is I feel, uh, something like it was something. Yeah, I forgot yeah, what old girl yeah, name was. Bro. Yeah, but yeah, man, yeah, that was yeah, that was, that nigga had that slap, slap, uh, drive by slapping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, but I seen man, them yeah, boys. That's throwback. I, yeah, I seen them boys. They took over flavor, flavor TV for about a week, man. They, 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 they yeah, were, you know what I'm saying. So that was a big inspiration, and then too, also coming up behind um uh, the group uh Souls of Sin. I don't know if you familiar with Souls of Sin or not, but yeah, Souls of Sin. Them boys, they had a, a record that. Uh, played on K104, man. Just seeing they re- they record make it to K104, that was motivation. So, you know what I'm saying? We was just, we was real in-house. We was Dallas, 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 bro. That's how we, right. we wasn't really paying attention. As we grew up, we wouldn't start paying attention to the outsiders, and we focused more on just Dallas, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for real, for real. Nah, ain't no wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so... Where the fast rap come from? Cause I noticed you got the like, you know, you know, the, the twist of the bone, the you know, the thing going on. So like that always been your thing. Well, once once again, I gotta go back to my guy EHA, man. You know, okay, man? okay. He, because like like what let me tell you what's so special and remarkable about this guy, man. This guy, he took a group of guys that wasn't even music and crime bro that we wasn't even rappers man and he put us all together and turned us into some rappers man and, okay you know okay. some of us some of us <laughs> kept the drive and kept it going and some of us chose other paths in life but man right. but that was was special and remarkable about that guy man and you know i always salute that that's my that's my guy man right so if it wasn't rapping what would you be <laughs> What would you be doing or what was your dreams or aspirations? Well, before then, before then, bro, it was sports. I had sports on my mind at first before the okay. music, bro. It was it was sports and music, bro. Really, that's that's basically a, a person that I am, man. I'm a real heavy uh sports watcher and music, man. If you if you ask me right now, the football season ain't even started. But if you ask me, the Cowboys gonna win the Super Bowl, bro. That's how that's oh, how much man, of a you, fan like you I put, am. Are you what what the fuck are you putting your you putting your money on the boys? Already <laughs> man. Already that's how much a fan uh, I am man. I already, I already say, man, we say that every year, man, to say I'm the every same year, way, man. Every I'm year, my money bro, on the that's board. why I say the stakes is high for Dallas, and every year we expect them to win the Super Bowl every year. Man, that boy Jerry sitting back getting rich off of us, man. He, man, I think he, man, I, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a call it, you know what I'm saying? I think Jerry is making more money losing than winning. Right. I think he betting against the odds, you know what I'm saying? Right, man, but yeah, man, but like they I running said, the play. Man, I was real heavy with them cowboys, though, man. Ride or die, man. They hurt my feelings sometimes, but it's still ride or die. Let's go, cowboys, man. DC four A. So, 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 so you all into it? So you know? So you heard about the roster change, huh? You heard about that lineup now, huh? Oh uh, man, yeah, man. I can't wait to see it, man. I can't wait to see it, man. Then, I'm hoping for the then best, they get man. rid of. They gonna, then we they get rid of that. Together something special for us. Did we get rid of that? Uh, I haven't heard that yet, though. To be honest, but I, but I don't know, man. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be mad if they did, though. Who we just spend fifty million on? Oh man, bro, man. If I had fifty million, bro, I probably invested in the music, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to see if you keep it up. You know what I'm saying? But nah, we now nah, the boys, boys should be doing something different this year, man. What about basketball? You be on the basketball? Uh, in basketball, man, I just had favorite players. I ain't really have a favorite team. I just had a favorite player, man. My all-time favorite player was Kevin Johnson, man, KJ. Kevin Johnson, okay. 
Yeah. So 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 you ain't been watching the female basketball or, or you ain't into the Olympics this year either? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm watching everything just the games come on too early. I think early you got to be up early in the morning to watch the games. They overseas in Paris, I think it is. <laughs> Oh yeah, you gotta yeah, you gotta be up early, you know what I'm saying? I gotta shoot, be up yeah. real early. <laughs> mm hmm So like, so when the when the first time you get in the studio, like, what was that experience like? Like, what it was okay, like the first man. time to hear okay, you stuff? Man. I gotta take you. That, I gotta take you back to my um Southern organization days, my SO days, man. Shout out to all my guys that was a part of the Southern organization, man. They uh took us to a studio, man. It was called the Kitchen Studio, man. A guy by the name of JP. I ain't gonna lie. That was the first time JP. I ever smoked. Uh, first time I ever smoked some dro was from JP, man. He put us down with that dro, man. Exotic weed way back then. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah kitchen, like, man. We did the songs in the in the kitchen, man, and that that was motivation too. Just to walk in the booth, man. He used to have pictures of uh, UGK with Pimp C autograph where he signed it, where he been up in there, man. So that right, was motivation right. within itself, man. Yeah, nigga, saying the kitchen making hits and knees. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, bro. That that, yeah, that kind of yeah. hurt me when when I heard that song, bro. That kind of hurt me. I was like, oh no, not Dallas. <laughs> yeah, man. Cause yeah, man. I push for cause that Dallas my second home though, man. But but I had to switch it up when I came back here, man. Cause I did so much uh -huh. repping from where I was raised up at that I felt it was only right that I come back and represent for my birthplace too. So I've been pushing that North Alabama line. Here lately, but it's still Dallas, Texas. I'm in though, too, though. Right, I I noticed that. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, that and that. You know, it ain't nothing wrong with it, cause shoot, hey, you know, the more the merrier. You know what I'm saying? Right. We get that, we get that gravy chain running. You know what I'm saying? We got that pipeline. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. You know it, man. And I, yeah, I build, yeah. I build a lot of solid, genuine relationships out there in Dallas that we locked in for life. So you know, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, and plus, man. you know, we can get down there, get some shows going and, and turn the roof off them boy. Cause I seen you just did the show uh what, what was the other week or this other day or something? Yeah, um, it was about a week ago. I did the uh Test Cumbia East Side Fest. They do a an annual East Side Fest over here. So I had did um the East Side Fest for them. They called me out to perform and I got to deal right. with them, man. Had a good time, man. Nah, that was so I had checked you out, man. Yeah, I said y'all, y'all shit was live like a motherfucker. Shit, yeah, y'all was y'all was turning the roof off that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, man. We gotta like, line some up in Dallas though, man. That's what I was talking about <laughs> the last time I was had a conversation with Bunky. I was telling him we need to line some up in Dallas, man. And and you know what I'm saying? Probably probably at that little PV block um um ceremony they do man the little gathering they do right. for the pv block man we got to put on for for the city one time man oh yeah man that that'll be live i definitely would love love an invitation please don't leave me out i'm talking to you and boonky don't leave me out of there let me <laughs> up on that motherfucker right. God damn yeah, me. Man. you know what i'm saying you know what i'm talking about yeah <laughs> so 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 you so jp has and got you lit on the goddamn kush you know what i'm saying so y'all yeah. well, was there to record. So yeah. did you get did you get some recording done? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, we knocked out some songs, man. Yeah, we was that's at that time we we was working on the compilation project with Southern Organization. That was called Time is Money back then, man. Uh right. and then and we and then we also we worked on like some solo records for underground player they project breaking them off, and then we did a thuggish way song for the uh DTA uh DTH project sudden slang. So we yeah, we was working back then, bro. But back then, though, one thing I say, bro, we lost a lot of music back then, bro. If you could have heard some of that music back then, man, you you was you 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 would have heard some real rapping going on, man. I mean, I mean, how much JP was charging back then for studio time? I know he was hiding the motherfucker. <laughs> uh, I, I remember I, what I remember about that part. I just remember we all had to come together to afford him, though. We all had right. to come put up our hands to, to afford him. So I'm pretty sure that number was up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit, goddamn me. What y'all was burning, what? Y'all burning, what, CDs and tapes? 
what, 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 that, that's the mission we was headed on. That's what we was headed right. to, man, before, you know, right. you know, we started going through different trials and tribulations in our life, but that's what we was headed to. Right. Right. So, like, at that time, y'all getting y'all stuff together and stuff like that, and y'all y'all forming, y'all sound, and y'all forming, y'all, y'all, the way y'all going, like, how far did y'all get before y'all start, I mean, before y'all stop? Um, well, we, well, well, we, we, we was working on the project, but we it just, it, we just didn't ever just hit the streets though, bro. We got the project complete, but, but as far as just release, releasing it for the public, man, we, we just used to like to hold on to, I think that was our problem. We just used to hold on to stuff for too long to eventually we just start losing it. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You say, nigga, say, I'm jamming my own shit. <laughs> right, bro. But, but, but at the same so, time, we should have been okay. throwing it out to the people. You, you feel? So, at that time, what year what, what year would you say was this? Was this right what, in the 90s this, or was this what? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is the 90s. This is like like 96. We in like 96 at this time. Because um, cause okay. I'm going to take you back to my Southern organization day. See, at that time, like, I, I, I was I was back and forth in Dallas because, like, like I, and I didn't go to high school in Dallas. I don't know if you, if you ever, are you familiar with McKinney, Texas, but I had went to Job Corps in McKinney, Texas, right? Yeah. So I used to try to get from McKinney, Texas, all the way back to Dallas, Texas, to make it to our rap meetings. We used to have rap meetings, and I used to try to make it yeah. from McKinney all the way to Dallas. And if you be late to right. the uh, rap meetings, they charge you, they find you, they called it a fine back then. They gave you a fine, so I was trying my best to make it to the meetings, not to get fined and all. Uh, so that was around '96. I was coming back from job court trying to make it back to the city to make it to the rap meetings we used to have in the southern organization man say let me tell you something man say that's <laughs> that's real talk say hey say the job court boy you had to everything you had to get was at walmart yeah <laughs> yeah man and then you only go home on the weekends and that's if you get the pass <laughs> yeah, yeah, we and the meetings, our meetings was on the weekend, so I so I was to rushing yeah. back to the city trying to get to the meetings, <laughs> right? To the rap right. meetings, yeah. We used to have yeah, man. You had to be out. You had to leave. You had to leave Sunday. Then there's six, seven o'clock. Get back there <laughs> on time. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. So that was yeah. during that time, yeah. like '96, man. I that just stuck out. I play, man. A funny memory about Job Corps. I got a shout out. Shout out to my guy. Big Bub the Handler. When I went to Job Corps, the first day I went to Job Corps and met, met Big Bub, we sat down and wrote a song the first day. That was my introduction to Big Bub. We sat down and wrote a song and completed it the first day I met him. Yeah, okay. So right, shout, shout out to my guy, Big Bub the Handler. Yeah. Nah, for, yeah, one thing, two times, goddamn me, shit. What yeah. the hell you mean? Yeah. So, Job Corps was yeah. an experience, though. I mean, yeah, I mean, bro. shit. I mean, you like you cut really you right across from the dorm. You got the lunch hall. You know what I'm saying? Right. I went to that. I went to. I went to that mug too. And, oh, and you know okay. what I'm saying? So I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So we, I can relate I, to you. We, it was. A, we used to. We used to. We used to uh, skip. We used to skip off of the campus and go to their projects. They had some projects there in McKinney. We used to always go to their projects and shit. That's back. That's back in them days too. That was the nineties. That's back when they had that real bar and shit. Niggas was sipping that bar back then. That real shit. Back then, yeah, in yeah, them that days. real bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talking about that 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 yeah. act that act? <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. It was spelled B A R R E bar. Yeah, bar. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. That real yeah. shit. Is, <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah, was on that. <laughs> yeah, bro. Before they, yeah, you talking about before they, they watered project. it down now. There, yeah. Because yeah. I don't know what these boys sipping now. Yeah, you know I don't know either, man. I don't partake in my, none of that, man. I, but, nah, my boy Zero said it ain't no drink. Times, it was real heavy. <laughs> nah, square business. So, like, so yeah, yeah, Job Corps was a thing. So, how long did you stay up in Job Corps? Well, um, um, I. I was there almost probably about eight or nine months because because I end up eventually we end up getting 
I ended up getting kicked out of the job course. Then I went back to the city, man. Then I was back in the city. But yeah, but um, yeah, they 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 put me out of there on some because you know back in them days, it it was it was when I first hit first hit job corps, it was Dallas versus Houston, and then but then but then we we made up, we got cool with Houston. Then it was Dallas versus New Orleans because it was the people from New Orleans used to come to that job court too. So it was us against them, and so and then too, I got put on to a lot of Louisiana stuff first too from being at job court, being that experience from other you know states and stuff being coming to the city. So you know what I'm saying. Right. I, I got to hear some shit for the first time. Nah, there nah, too. you, nah, you, nah, you ain't lying because around ninety six, by like ninety five, ninety six, around that time, because that's that's when you just now hearing you and LV, you know, dragging through the river. Yeah, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because everybody was on everything else, and then you started hearing, you know, yeah, of course, you know, Master P, you know, had his thing, you know, slowly, surely becoming, you know, what I'm saying, Ice Cream Man and all that, but. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean. Because right. I remember at that time, by 96, we were on my mom, she was going to uh, Richland College. You know what I'm saying? I used to go up there with her. Yeah. And I used to always see that damn uh, ice cream man. I'm like, who, who is this? You know what I'm saying? Before, right. before that, I was I was on the triple six and shit like that. Bone Thugs, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah. Shout out, shout out Bone Thugs. Right, right, right. Shout out Bone Thugs. But uh, so how when you came back and you left Job Corps, what was different in Dallas? What you seen that was different, you know? And what was the things you had to adapt to to go to the next level? Because I know life is a journey. Yeah, well, well, at that time, and coming back after Job Corps, you know what I'm saying? That's when that's when I really picked up on on the mic, man, and, and really made that decision to go full force with the music, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I got to really just keep it music because, you know, the music is what kept a nigga out of a whole bunch of trouble, man. That's what making me push away from the gang banging from any anything. I just well, I wanted to do music over everything. So, you know what I'm right, saying? I got right. real music heavy with me and uh my partners and man you know what i'm saying that was part of the, my little man. group i used to have at the time man i ain't want to interrupt you man but you look like you like you a mix between nigga nipsey hustle snoop dog nocturna <laughs> <laughs> uh, man man believe it or not believe it or not as a youngster bro i used to hear that snoop term a lot boy they used to you say that a lot yeah man. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And nah, especially because back real. then I used to wear my hair long. I used to wear the braids and long hair and stuff, hair in the perm and all yeah. that type shit back then. Nah, for real, for real. Shit, goddamn it. So so like at this time when you was coming back, did y'all so did y'all ever really complete a body of work to where y'all can put them out and or who and who was at that time what was the competition like at that time i know this time dallas was hot because you had red rum out you had uh what well, well, luchi and them just about to come out cotton mouth and all them was out bobo luciano was out you had a uh, uh, true gang out you know you had boys boys you had gator man was coming out you had big dank holly hill it was so many people at that time coming out Bro, yeah, bro. At the yeah, we was trying to figure it out, man. We was trying to figure our place out. Where did we fit in it out of that group that you just mentioned? You feel what I'm saying? But right. But like I said, really, to be honest with you, the, the the honest God truth, man. Really, to be honest, we was living up under the you know what I'm saying the so souls of sin imprint. The, and then later on, we started living within Bunky too because Bunky was one of the ones that stepped up to the plate and and started releasing, finally releasing the music and getting it out to the public. For so for our neighborhood, bro, we was kind of you know pushing behind Bunky to, to go as far as he can go. You know what I'm saying to get right. us on. You feel what I'm saying? Because he was the right. one that was in the position to to burn the CDs and get the covers and posters out into the city, man. So to be honest with right. you, that's what we was pushing at that time. Right. Oh, yeah, Bo yeah, Buki took that baton and he, he done. And he ran, ran with, with that it. Ran. Yeah. That's what I tell yeah, you. Yeah, he done ran with it. The one thing that. about, 
one thing about it I loved him uh, for him about is that his work ethic it just took off. It took off to the point that he that that, that like even with the song that we did, that's the reason I get put him on the song because I knew that once I once I gave that track over to him that he was gonna get on there and handle his business. That's one thing about it. And yeah. when I gave it to him, by two or three days that track was back. His verse was on it. He ready to go, man. And yeah, he and he definitely like he keeps in tunes like he got man like he got tracks with boys that that was out back then at that time like you know uh blowfly and all them you know like yeah you know like man say yeah uh, you know and, and he he just he just keep it coming and that's what and that's what it is and the videos be fire the videos be yeah. fire man who be doing your who who, who be shooting your videos. Well, my well, shoot my videos is Slim Swayze shoot my videos. And uh, cash it, smoke break, cash it, smoke uh, film one of them. But well, uh, the video that I did with Bunky, I went through Bunky and his people. I think it's like Mike Billion shot it. He, he yeah, came man. through and yeah, blessed our game on that video there. Yeah, that that yeah that boy get down. Yeah, yeah man. that boy yeah that that boy make you boy boy make you look like a star, don't he? Yeah, man. Yeah, he do, he do good work, man. He do good work. Right. Not only do he do good work, man. He do good business, man. And that's what it's about. Oh, really? Right. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, that's facts. That's facts. You know so, what I'm saying? You gotta so have I'm, a business I'm locked with in him. With him, and, and you know what I'm saying, I'm always down to do good business, and he do good business, so I'm with that. Nah, for real, for real, shit, man. Matter of fuck, man. Rock out for what billion one time. Rock, rock out for my boy billion one time. God damn me. You know what I'm saying? But uh, so what is the difference now? You know, coming from from back then, you know, and you playing with it, and you seeing the growth of Dallas because now you got, boy, you you got so many. You got Diamond D's, you got DSRs, you got the Tucks, you got the, you know, what I'm saying you 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 got the Bowlegs, you know, what I'm saying the Bushies, you know, what I'm saying you got so many people. See, see at that, this that, time starting to come out at that at that 2000 you know era too you know what i'm saying like yeah, that that's 2001 that detail you know? era. that's that i like to call that era that's that detail era because you know because you know right. oh yeah another thing i need to tell you too is you know i was yeah, like i said i'm in that grove but i also after mm -hmm. after i left the grove bro i did move to north dallas too off uh forest lane and i did you too so i ran those right. streets too out there in the north yeah. so yeah, they had some, yeah, they had some boys coming out there in the nose too. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Doski G. You know what I'm saying? That's my boy. <laughs> yeah, 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 for Shout sure. Shout out to Doski sure. G. Yeah, yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? And like, but yeah, at that time, you know, you you got realize like, damn, D the NFL boys. You know, yeah, um, it was so many really coming out at at that time, and it, it, and it's it's a lot to even go. You know what I'm saying? Because it was even females coming out at that time. Like what? That it was a change in Dallas. So you said that was the D Town era. What, what made you call it? You remember Monster Joe was coming out around that time? Like yeah. what, what? Yeah, Be what, because they call him Little Joe that, back that, then. That, at that point of time, I was still in the city there, and 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 that's what that's what people were referring to Dallas as D Town. You know what I'm saying? That's what right. I like to call. Now that's phase two of the Dallas scene of the music. His first act, first we, we went from the Big D, then we transitioned into D Town. That's that D. So okay. I like to say that that the Dallas Boogie, <laughs> those Boogie artists, those were the last artists of the D Town ever before they made that transition over to the Triple D. You did what I'm right, saying, right? Like your young Ninos and you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. yeah, that that, that yeah. was the last era of the D town right there. When 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 the right. little wheels and the you know watch me do this, yeah, watch little me wheels, do that. And, yeah, the trap stars and all that. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. that, and then and then that's when the, the, the city made that transition into the triple D. See, and then that right then that's that's right when I left the city though, bro. Because when I came back here. Then that's when people start saying the triple D. I'm like, oh, okay. But but right right before they start saying triple D, I start hearing my my closest people. They start hollering New Dallas, New Dallas, and then right. the triple D came and hit. You know what I'm saying? The I think remember at one time think before, before you thug and all that started yeah. happening. If you can I remember, remember at one that. Time I remember at one time even before when you know the triple D really just took off like that. It was I remember when niggas used to say three D. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, before, yeah, I, yeah, I remember you, when niggas used to say 3D. You, you know what I'm saying? Before it was even tri a triple D. Yeah. 
Yeah, it, yeah, it, I yeah, remember uh-huh. you telling me that, man. Yeah, man. It's a, but so you know, it's it's it, yeah, it, it's it, it runs deep, and I like how you know everybody put their twist to and, and you know and ran with it because you know it because it, it, you know it transitioned over time because you got to realize, shoot, goddamn, about that time, shit, hell, you got B Hamp, you got uh, what you what uh, uh the role and. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, man. Yeah, uh, them boys what, start. Shit. That's when that they pimp? start taking. They start taking Dallas worldwide, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, yeah. They the GS boys. Music everywhere now, man. Yeah, Fort Worth even got some, and they know the product came started coming out. You know what I'm saying? Six yeah. Deuce. You know, uh even Twisted Black was even in that. You know, he was even a little bit before that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Twisted man. Black was. A, matter of fact, Twisted Black was out in the '90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He part of that. He part of. He yeah, part of the yeah, culture he part too, of, yeah, man. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. We we appreciate all them boys for everything that they they input to it, bro. We got to keep it going. Got to celebrate our brothers for coming out. But that, that, but ain't it crazy, bro? It's twenty twenty four, bro, and we still talking rap, bro. They said in the nineties, rap wasn't gonna make it. It's twenty twenty four. We still talking rap. Man, we still talking raps. They fighting over raps, man. They fighting over everything. That's- they still fighting over sample uh, sap, sample uh, clearances. They still everything going, nigga. They, yes. You know what I'm saying? And everything, you know. It, the shoot, number one man, genre we, in the world, man. Yeah, number one. You know what I'm saying? Number one influence of everything. You know what I'm yes. saying? Like, we, we, yes. they would say, we set the trends, goddamn. <laughs> yes, yes. That's, 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 nah, that's, that's what I love about it. So that's why I, I salute to everybody, bro. I ain't got no hate in me, right. man. I salute my brother because a real hustler just want to see one of us make it anyway. You know what, nah, what I'm saying? For real. At least, you know if, what if saying? we can get at least one of us through there, Man, what were we crying about? Let's celebrate that. That's why. That's why we got behind Bunky and gave Bunky the push that we needed to give him the get because we gotta celebrate our own. Man, we we did right. too much celebrating everybody else's for us to time for us to celebrate our own. Man, nah, facts, 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 man. That's how it go, man. Because you know, like one people, like I tell people all the time, man, Dallas got a long legacy. Like people just think we just started. You know what I'm saying in the 2000s or something like that, and I'm, I'm like, nah, man, we started in the 80s. We started, man. Matter of fact, yeah, D, Run DMC and Nemesis was on the same label profile. Right, right. So let me tell a funny thing about 2024, man. I mean, funny thing. Let me tell you this: the same thing the girls do here, what they call twerking in 2024, man. They was doing that in Dallas in the 80s. They used just used to call it the South Dallas Drop, man. South mm-hmm. Dallas drop. Right, God yeah, damn, bro. They been you know doing saying? that in Dallas. So we've been, we been influencing the world, man. <laughs> yeah. So man, who was who was the DJs and stuff back then, man? Who was who was the ones keeping the club list? Who was the ones, you know, spinning spinning y'all? You know, taking a chance, you know, messing with y'all, you know. See, at the, at that time, see, we was youngsters then. At that time, we was barely getting the club. I remember back then, I'm going to tell you uh, what was – it was a uh, club Lakeside. I don't know if you – I got to take you back. You got to be yeah, a real yeah. deep time. It was that Lakeside. Club Golly. Lakeside used to jump. <laughs> um, GG's. You know what I'm GGs saying? GG's in know, the North Dallas. <laughs> yeah, you know, and you know the Cliff Club, you know, that's been popping. Oh, it's but the Cliff popping. Club's still open right now. <laughs> right, right, right. So, you know, that's been popping. And then, and then, too, don't let me forget off Loop 12, uh, the lounge. We used to have the lounge, a place called the lounge we used to go Man, to. that was back in the day. You talking about, you talking about over there by, uh. Right at Loop uh, 12, like the way uh, you uh, going uh, to the Cliff uh, in the Grove. What'd you, you call it, uh, Best for Less? Over there by Best for Less? Yeah, yeah, all that, man. All that, yeah. man. But, but like I said, we, yeah, we were, uh, the lounge, we go, but, but like I said, we was young, so sneaking in clubs, man. The first club I ever went to, I, 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 one of my partners sneaked me in, it was called Cry Babies. It was the old strip club in the south. <laughs> Cry right there baby, underneath man. the bridge. You talking about yeah, right there underneath yeah, the bridge, right there. Yeah, bro, that's the first club I ever went to. It snuck me in that motherfucker. <laughs> Say, crybabies used to go down. Say, yeah, man, it was it was hey, good during that hey, time, man. Hey, but that, but that, 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 that bitch one. I mean, Lady Love, Lady Love too, probably was worse though. <laughs> yeah. Then what they had to spot what animes or whatever animes. Oh yeah, animes. Yeah, year, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. I, yeah. I had perform. I used to perform. I used to perform in animes. 
Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. But but yeah, yeah man. Yeah, shit, that bitch only one way in that motherfucking shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> nah, for real. So, like, so what? So what made you come back? Come come back to music. What made you say, you know, hey, I took my break. Like I'm back. You know, I'm finna I'm finna go full fledged with it. Like. Okay, well, we're really okay for for me when I came back with my project. We 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 are gonna speed it up a little bit and come to the psycho of the city. My first project I ever released on my own. Okay, so with my project, with, when that project came, I had to make a decision, man, because I had just it was the end of two thousand and nine, man. I had just left uh, Dallas, Texas, man, and all and you right. gotta realize. Me coming back to Alabama, it, it stripped me of all of my musical plugs. Anything music that I had that I was connected to was gone. You did know what I'm saying? So I had to right. start all the way back to the. I had to make that decision that if you're gonna do this, you are gonna have to do this on your own because you you ain't got your homies in Dallas no more. That was you know giving you the motivation to do what you do you dig what i'm saying so i right. had to make that decision and, and and once i made that decision man i i came out with the project the psycho of the city man and and i've been full force man just representing the city man full force man the south man now so that's why when when you hear me say the down south represent them i, I represent the south as a whole because like i was born in alabama i was raised in dallas so i've combined the both of us and, and represent us both because both of them is in me man because because right. when you 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 ask people from here in alabama they say oh he from dallas texas if i go to dallas texas they say oh he from alabama so you know <laughs> i'm just i'm just all caught up in because we moved <laughs> around i was fortunate enough to be able to move to different places as young right. though so but yeah. it's all good i represent the south as a whole man 100. yeah so I'm so yeah. So now so now you so now you running with it. So what are some things you done learned along your way? You know, you know, putting out your own music and producing your own music. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I, what I've learned about it is that man, you got to stay consistent with this man. You just gotta you gotta just boil down, get to the uh, your process of how you do your music and and stay focused to it. Believe in what you're doing, no matter if, because once you believe in what you're doing, your own mama can't tell you what you're doing is wrong. You feel what right. I'm saying? Right. You, you got to believe in what you're doing. And, and once you believe in yourself, man, the sky's the limit, man. Nah, for real. Nah, for real, for real. Like, and it's like, so now, we here in 2024, right? Right. And a lot of things is changing. Like right now, you in Alabama, Alabama hot. I'm going to tell you that right now. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, especially with Honeycomb Brazen. You know right. what I'm saying? Honeycomb Brazen got everybody looking at Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Shit, just, just like just like that. Even that, it don't matter if it's Mobile or whatever. It's just Alabama, period. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Like, how you feel about that, you know, that transition of, you know, like, like now it's like the eyes on us, you know what I'm saying? So what is, how you it's feel me, now and, and where it's going to go now? It's, it mean to man, it just mean to put your all gas, no brakes, man. It's mean to put your best work out, put, put your thinking cap on and get these bars out here, man, to the people, man. You know what right. I'm saying? We bar, we bar heavy over here, man. Right. A YouTube a fool, cause a YouTube man, you put them videos out, you know what I'm saying? You put them in the right hand, like you know, where star still at Avenue, you know what I'm saying? And then you know, in yeah. Dallas, you know, we still got um uh uh man, he gonna get mad like a motherfucker half paint, you know what I'm saying? He yeah. still do his thing, you know what I'm saying? Shout I don't care out. what nobody say, you know, yeah, and you know, and then you know, we got all our avenues, like like I say, Dallas Global, you know, we got uh real life street stars, you know. And some more things. We got a whole bunch of them. It's a lot of them. They're gonna be like, man, you ain't name me. I say, nah, it's a lot of us. You know what I'm saying? But um, and shout out to all of them, you know what I'm saying? Especially Boss Talk. Uh and uh and, um and Bobo Luciano podcast. He got, you know what I'm saying, um uh, Trill, you know what I'm saying? But um 
what I'm saying is like it's like it, it's that time, you know what I'm saying? Start tapping in, you know what I'm saying? Especially people taking serious, you know. I don't think it's no age limit either, because it's another thing going around. I was watching uh Mad Hoffa and all them, and they were talking about how you know the you know, you still go to a rock band and all that, you know, these people down there are almost 90 years old, and they still packing out concerts, and I think that's the next milestone for this hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Letting them know, like, shit, it ain't, it ain't no age limit. I can still be doing this over here, doing that over there, but it ain't no age limit. Yeah, man, I feel you on that, man. I just feel like you just gotta focus on the craft. It ain't no, it ain't no age limit on this, man. We just gotta, if it's right. in you, man, do it, man. Do it. Let nah, let, let it be known. Put it in their face, man. We gonna we gonna right. keep because I'm because I'm an older rapper myself, but I feel like I, I can rap with any young nigga that's out there, man. I give them the business, man. Right, right. So man, was it we so so have you been keeping up have you been keeping up with the uh president candidates and stuff like that? You seen they got uh uh Harris in the, up in that thing now, you know what I'm saying? That boy Biden them step down and and, and, and Trump, Trump, uh, going rampant around here. <laughs> man, man, Trump got in that ass. And he got in that office and showed his ass, man. If anybody man. did the things Donald Trump did, bro, you know they'd be under the jail. Man, say so they gave that boy thirty four. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he got more felony. He got more felonies than the most vicious nigga you know. Man, I thought they say I thought they were misdemeanors, man. Nah, them felonies, man. But so like why I he not locked so, so how this man ain't so how he not locked up? How, yeah, I how don't know, man. man. That's what I'm saying, man. I, man, I don't know. Anybody else though, they they be under the jail, bro. Man say, man say hold. <laughs> yeah, man. He he got in that office and showed his ass, bro. Man, say, man, 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 who your man, who your top five? <laughs> oh, hey, hey, man, let me ask, let me ask you, you, you think that was with Trump getting shot? You think that was staged or you was that real? Well, you know, you know, you put me on the spot like this. You know, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna put it like this. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, like Bart Simpson used to say, you damned if you do, you damned if you don't. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to put it like this. Um, America has known to be in the entertainment business. <laughs> America is known to control the entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, the world of America is the stage. You know what I'm saying? So, right. you know, I mean, you can't put nothing past you can't put nothing past them, you know what I'm saying? They do anything. I mean, and when I say anything, anything to make it seem like they in control. But the thing I don't understand is this. This is it, it, it. My thing is this. I think we're all focused on the wrong thing too, because it's not the president who really controls anything. It's Congress. You know what I'm saying? It's people who pass them bills. You know what I'm saying? It's the House of Representatives. You know what I'm saying? It's your local. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Those are really where the real difference go goes there now. And we always had our focus always in the wrong spot. You know what I'm saying? So, and by the time we look up, you know, we all we looking at is just the president. And then not only that, we always just voting just because somebody black, man. You can't just vote just because somebody black. <laughs> Right. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like, up, man. It's gonna be interesting, man. Who they put in right. the office, man? It's gonna get real interesting here, man. Man, it, it, it's always interesting. You know what I'm saying? Biden, Biden been interested for the last almost four years. Right. He's been highly interested for Trump four years. It's been very interesting. You yes. know what I'm saying? And right. then when we had, and we can't forget about uh, Obama, Obama. Mm -hmm. Obama yeah. almost had everybody go, almost having heart attacks with with the Obama curve. Everybody, <laughs> it was the Obama scare. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Then, then, you, then you can't forget about that. Before him, well, it was Bush in there. Shit, Bush was just knocking down everything. Nigga, it was nine eleven. This nigga, bro, it, <laughs> it was. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Then you know, and, and before that, who was well, Bush had it again? And then. You know what I'm saying? And what and Obama had it what what 
twice, right? And uh, and then well, then we had Clinton. When we had Clinton, shoot, it was all a sham. Sure, wow. you know what I'm saying? It was a sham, yes. man. My, my my homeboy, shoot, I didn't have sex relations with that. Yes, I did have sex relations with that. <laughs> but you know, it, you know how it go. You know what I'm saying? It, it it's all it's all a sham, man. It's always something. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's always getting indicted or getting up trying to get impeached or it's something. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I feel you, man. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know for my people, you know, we, they ain't, ain't nothing, ain't nothing came to us. It ain't nothing, you know, and we always been pulling ourselves up by the bootstrap. So I'm, I'm tired of hearing that. We mm -hmm. always done that. So, you know, I, you know, like, yeah. I'm like Dane Callaway, you know what I'm saying? Give me my land. <laughs> right, right. You know, let we, we got to work, let on, me we get... gotta work up two times as hard as the next man, man. Right. We got to go. We got to get it. Right. Give me my land. Give me my, give me this. Give me that. You know what I'm saying? Let me take, let me do my section. Let me build up. Let me do my thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, get, uh, even the playing fields. You know what I'm saying? Like. Right, man. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? Like. Shoot, let us let let us let us corn a nation, you know, you know, you know, why y'all corning a corporation and calling it a nation, you know, but you know, you know how it go. Right, man. Oh, was you ever a freestyler? Uh not not as much, man. Not not as much, not as much as, as my other artists in, in um Texas. I, I got a story about that too, man. What's that? About free. Um, I'm gonna tell you that that man coming up in Dallas, man. You know the the freestyle culture is real heavy out there in Texas. I remember a time back then. Now I'm taking you back younger when we used to write raps. I remember it was hard to get a Texas nigga to sit down and write a rap. They would they they used to look at us like we was lame for sitting down writing raps. Like yeah, <laughs> like them niggas over there writing. Hell, I ain't gonna do no writing, man. Turn the mic on, turn the beat, and they just want to go. They just want to freestyle and freestyle, yeah, bro. Right? So, the, so everybody used to freestyle there, bro. I'm gonna tell you, this was my secret, bro. But I used to, I used to kill the freestyle battle every time, cause the Texas nigga get out there and freestyle, and I used to come with a uh, written rap, and, but but I used to kill it. And everybody look at me like, whoa. Whoa, they thinking I'm freestyling. They taking it that I'm freestyling like them, but I wasn't. I was right with what I had wrote. So You want to know until, something funny? Until they start catching on to it, like, nah, nigga, you wrote that. You wrote that. Right, <laughs> right. You wrote that shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah they say, yeah, nigga, you wrote that shit. Now, nah, but you want to know what's funny, though? What's you that? know what I'm saying? To add to your stories that, you know, the OGs, you know what I'm saying, say, you know, or the pioneers of the rap thing say they always said that. A freestyle was always something that you written, and off and when you go off the dome is when you rapping off the dome when you coming straight off the head, right? You know what I'm okay. saying? So you basically you was doing the right thing. You was for you was doing what you was supposed to do. You came prepared. You know what I'm right. saying for battle. You know what I'm saying? Before, you you before came prepared. a long time though, bro. I used to I used to break freestyle battles up. Everybody they would look at me like I was God after I get through, right, bro. Right, Just because right, right. they're like, dang, bro, you coming off the head like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. But but yeah, Man. but but eventually, but eventually though, I started getting them same raps and they started catching up, like, nah, nigga, you wrote that, nigga, you wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 can I can I can I get one of those freestyles out of you? All right, man. Let me see. Um hold on. Let me see. I got you. Oh, you put on the beat for me too. Okay. Let's go. Like this. I'm gonna put it like this. Let me get up in the game, represent one time, put it down for the mind, I'ma do it. Hey, hit him up with the fluid. Coming off the dome and I'ma sit it like this though. Every time that I get up a game, I gotta put him on round, can I just don't change? They thought I was gonna stop, but a nigga get a bit of beat. Man, my bad, yeah. my bad. Hit that, hit nah, that you boy, go. You keep it going, keep it going, you throw it. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. 
Permanently put in the picture to bring pain. I promise to maintain the profit that I gain. A passionate rhyme say I pick them apart, player. They listen to my music and they really kick a prayer. I really got a vision, I be nothing like the rest. Words get twisted by associated press. I'ma double up quick, hit a lick and I'm gone. Creeping on the west side in the kill zone. You ain't even in the game. We be hating on the sideline. Sneaking on your partner, boy. I heard you the grapevine. Nigga, you a mark. I don't really like your kind when they put me on the train. Never know it's same time. You better get ready, cause I'ma hit them on up. I ain't leaving no names. I ain't sparing no life. Struggle the block, I hate to hit them up twice. In North Alabama, they gon' make you pay the price. Better watch what you play, cause I'm coming your way and just don't. Play in the city while I stay, got a rubber to the yard, going hard with the flow. Baby boy, really bother me, though, with the note. They went for me outside when they see me at the door. Yeah, 100. <laughs> For the love of money, hey, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn me already, you know what I'm saying? I know this motherfucker, uh, this thing be having a lag in it, so I know I ain't tripping. I know I heard, I heard, I heard you in there, goddamn me, shit. Hey, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Man, I know y'all heard about that too. Down, bro. Already, down, man. Already, man. I appreciate that, man. So, man, where the name come from? The name, yeah, okay. I got to take you back again, man. We're going to go. We're going we going to Northwest Highway. I don't know how much well, you know was, about Northwest well. Highway. But back in the day, right where they had Gigi's at, they used to have this club. It used to be called Club Kalahari, right? Hey, oh, Kalahari. The, Kalahari. Okay, the club was packed, man. I'm steady. I'm steady getting to the DJ. Like, bro, let me rap. Let me rap, bro. Let me rap. I think. I think he, at this time, at this night, even Stony Crook was all in the building. Everybody was in the building. So I was trying to get to the mic to get to to the DJ. And you know, back then it was hard for the DJ just to hand you over the mic. Uh, uh you know, that was the uh, DJ wasn't trying to hear that, but he actually did. Him over the mic though, bro. And, and the last words he told me when he gave me the mic, he told me to kill him dead. So when I grabbed the mic, that's what I did. I killed him dead. So that's what the KD stand for. Oh, kill him okay. dead. And the, the psycho come from in the grove. My partners gave me that name just wilding out, you know what I'm saying, doing crazy stuff as a youngster. They gave me that name and everybody started calling that to now. My own mama called me that now. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I see I see you be representing. I see you be having the hats, you got the merch, you got everything. You make sure you make sure you know what I'm saying, you you advertise that, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah, man, bro, like logo. you said, man. Your logo, bro, we walking billboards, man. So I'm trying to put Damn it in your right. face, man. Nah, for real, for real. Nah, that's facts. That's facts, man. Like I had to ask where the name came from. So like what's what's next for you man you you man have you have you done have you done did any movies you been thinking about movies writing a book you know what i'm saying like what's some stories in dallas man that you that was wild that was just like you know did man, you ever encounter man, the jamaican did, uh, man, posse man, or anything I, 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 man there's just a lot of memories from Dallas. i'm gonna give you one memory i got as a youngster in dallas man what we used to do bro like i told you man we used to love to rap so much man i gotta take you back one more again man back in the day bro they used to have this dollar movie theater it used to call be called big town i don't know if you're familiar with that or not uh -huh. but in the parking lot man um we used to walk from from pv all the way to big town just to go stand in the parking lot because we knew that we used to have big ciphers in the parking lot um and we knew they was gonna be rapping so we would go up there to join the join the uh ciphers man so all the groups and all groups from around dallas used to be outside the dollar theater rapping and shit bro them was the days bro when when people before like the money came into play and people was really in love with the art it was nothing to walk down the street and just see a group of people out there you be thinking they about to fight or something but it'd be a, a group of people in there getting it in with raps and shit rapping and shit bro bro them was the times man <laughs> You don't I remember, remember none of the, Yeah, um, I remember this you, group. I don't know who they was, bro, but they used to they, they used to always come outside there. They they used to say that they used to have this hook. It always stood 
to me. They used to go like this. They go, they go, do, do, do. This is the town most wanted. Do, do, do. So what the fuck the fed? Do, do, do. This is the town most wanted. Do, do, do. So what the fuck the feds, man. They used to rock the parking lot with that. And then my yeah. my my uh group detail detail hustlers will come with that constantly flow. You had the underground players, they be out there, bro, bro. It, them was just the days, bro. When when people was really in love with the art, bro, of rapping, right. bro. You know what I'm and saying? Y'all all up there at the dollar movie. Y'all all up there at the dollar movie, fucking off. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Rapping and shit, man. Yeah, rapping, rapping. and shit, getting it in and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, man. Yeah. So. Damn, so you don't remember none of the groups and none of that, but you did name, uh, I heard you say uh, the underground. Uh, yeah, underground players, players D-Town, Hustlers used to be there. Um, it was, it, but but it, it was more groups underground. I'm, I'm tr trust me, when your next guest asked them do they memory any any ciphers or shit going on in the parking lot of Big Town, because they was big, bro. We used to go right. up there religiously to, to just to be a part of it, bro. And it it was, it was the glory days then in Dallas. It was we like I said, the mission was just to put Dallas on the map then, man. I'm gonna ask you this question: What would you do? or change differently from then to now bro i would i wouldn't have, i wouldn't have hold, held on to the music so much i would have let the music out and let people hear what we really was doing instead of holding on it we was we was just holding because you know back then then too i got to take you like them was the 90s so so back then then was the the time of the record deal bro so you know at that time, uh, the, this independent talk that everybody talked now, everybody wasn't on that, bro. We had a record deal mindset. So it was the mindset was like, say, bro, when we get this deal, bro, when these people hear us, bro, we're going to shoot off, bro. This going to take us. This going, you know what I'm saying? We was more in that mind frame versus, right. you know, now we need to press up our own. We need to do this. We need to get out here and, you know, take the guerrilla marketing tactic type. We, right. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't right. that mind state just of yet. You dig what I'm saying? Nah, facts, 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 facts. And you say you left for Brown by 2009? Nine, yeah, the end of 2009 is when, and right when they made the transition over to the Triple D, I was like, because they kind of messed me up. I was like, damn, they don't even say D Town no more. They say Triple D. Like, but see, see, me, but see, me but see, young over, Nino. Man. See, but see, young Nino and them was saying Triple D in the, in, in, in the early 2000s, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were well, like, well, like I said, though, there was, that, but yeah, but I know what you, but I know what you mean. It, yeah, yeah, I feel, yeah, that transition, yeah, that's when the uh -huh. transition started coming in, and you know, them 2000, right. like I told you, then that, that with the detail and the 2000, it got kind of tricky, you know, because at right. that time, I, I feel like that, that you know, because. We were saying D town, but then people was thinking we was talking about Detroit, but like, like now nah, we talking Dallas here, not, right, not Detroit. Right, right. You know, they start kind of taking on D town too, so it things got kind of a little tricky. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, and then they always had the D hat too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you it was dig all, them yeah. Kids, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, I I see them similarities. You know, and it's crazy. You know how that is, but. We always right. know ours because we always had the skyline right behind it. You know what I'm saying? Like that skyline, yeah. boy, ain't ain't nothing like ain't like the nothing like the skyline, man. <laughs> yeah, man, that's the that's what I say. I say that's the best skyline in in the United States, man. I, ain't, I or maybe in the world, man. I ain't seen nothing like it, man. When they when it light yeah. up at night, man, you know what right. it is, man, for real. And I like I like Seattle's uh, stuff, but it, but D Town, man, it's just some about it. You know, okay. uh, but uh, man, let me man, let me see. Like, do you ever think that Dallas got us just do? Do you think that, um, or do you think that it was a, it was a plethora of people coming out? Because you said once before earlier when you was talking that Flavor TV, and I remember seeing a lot more than just Cabal that was on Flavor TV. Because I I remember um, uh, goddamn me uh uh uh. uh a plethora of artists that was coming out of Dallas that was on Flavor TV. Right. 
Right, yeah, bro. That's what I say, man. Yeah, man. I seen Dallas make the progression. That's why I say, man. We went from the big D to the D town. We in the triple D, man. It's steady growing. It's steady spilling over, man. And you just see the world. The, the world has been influenced by Dallas music, man. Whether they want to say it or not, they have been, bro. For real, right, bro. Right. You know, right. we see it in everything, boy. They dug in everywhere. Everybody around this whole dug in, man. Shout out to Big Spain too, cause I, I, I was locked in with him for a minute, too. Right, out right. There in the North Dallas. Right, but you know that, but you know, you know that Dougie, yo, yeah, yeah, the song Dougie, yeah, everybody rocking that, you know what I'm saying? But the Dougie, the dance, you know what I'm saying? That's the Dougie Fresh. You're right, <laughs> that right, Dougie right, Fresh, right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Dougie. And, movie, and, right. and and I think I think I think that boy did that whole some goddamn justice like a motherfucker. Justice, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like right. that motherfucker came out so goddamn hard. You know what I'm saying? It went matter of fact. I'm gonna tell you something. That motherfucker came out so hard. It it put Dougie Fresh himself back in the line. Like goddamn me, I don't care if he he was out there chilling. You know what I'm saying? But that put him back. You know what I'm saying? Back on that. Ah, uh, you know what I'm right. saying? Right, no, for real. even California, even they even teach me how to dug it. Teach me how to dug yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, right. <laughs> for real, boy, yeah, hell tone up, around man. this bitch. Now, nah, for real. So, like, what is the next chapter? You know what I'm saying? Like. You got new well, albums coming out. What 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 is what what is the yeah. uh... right now? Right now, the position I'm in right now is I'm working on new music right now. But I got right. a couple more. I got a couple more visuals. I'm finna come with before the end of this year off of the uh, Mind Stimulation project that I dropped here. And um, you know what I'm saying? And I'm getting geared up right here this weekend. I'm geared up for the um Alabama Music Awards. I'm get I got nominated for two awards this year. So I'm going down there Sunday, uh, July the 28th. And at, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm for saying? real. Nah, for real, for real. Congratulations. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, you know, what I'm saying? You. Gonna, you know, uh give them give my boy a goddamn me a round of applause around. <laughs> yeah, but uh, what'd you say? Yeah, I got nominated for uh Bama Most Slept On Artist, and then I got nominated for mixtape slash album of the year. Oh, okay, okay. Put put him in there one time, goddamn me shit. So most slept on. That's so that's that's a that's a that's a nice award to get, you know what I'm saying? Like right. they so so people been noticing you then. They've been right. paying attention to, to know you shit, you've been slept on. Right. Right. Boy, yeah, so man. It, yeah, man, we trying to go down there and bring them awards home, but but you know, we don't do it for the accolades because whether we win or not, we still gonna you know push that P and we still right. gonna push the issue whether we win or not. We ain't in it for the accolades, but that's cool. Oh, but, really? You know what I'm oh, saying? Really? We gonna keep oh, pushing nah. whether we win or lose. Now nah, people don't understand, nigga, it's just for the love, nigga. This is sport, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like shit, yeah. goddamn it, hell yeah, it's for the sport, nigga. Shit. And I know exactly what you mean, shit, nigga. If a nigga, if I make money, I make money. If I don't, I don't, nigga. This is what I do. This is what I do, right, bro? This is what I do, man. For real, for real. Nah, for real, for real. So, like, if you was in my shoes, what question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask? Uh, let's see, man. Um, let's see. It ain't, it ain't one of the... Uh... Man, you covered it all, bro. You covered it all. I'm trying to think, man. We talked about everything. I got everything off my chest, man. I would, I would ask myself, man. And uh, yeah, man. You got, you, you pretty much got everything, man. Man, shit. Well, well, shit. Well, who your top now, nah, man? Who your top? Uh, who your, who your top five artists? My top five artists. Can I, can I, can I, can I one up you, man? One up me. Can I can I do I'm gonna do my top five Dallas artists. Not not just artists, Dallas artists. Oh shit. Oh, you got a top five Dallas artists list? Yeah. Well let's nigga, go. let's go. Let's nigga run that shit then. Let's go. Okay. 
First name, first man. This ain't in no particular order, even though I'm just gonna say I'm in the, in the order. I'm gonna I'm put, I'm gonna put uh, in my fifth spot. I'm gonna put that boy Darrow Music, man, because I, I feel like Darrow Music. He took me, he took that Dallas music across state line, bro. I feel out in Cali and New York, he got people really on that Dallas. Yeah. Uh, they had Diddy, he had Diddy in the video. Shout yeah, out, shout you know out to So, so I got to yeah. shout out Darrow for really pumping the city and i really appreciate that um Cowboy my fourth team. spot i'm gonna say um i'm gonna say my fourth i'm, I'm gonna give it to what the og man i'm gonna say og cotton mouth man i'm gonna throw og cotton man mouth what you that, man, man what you know about cotton mouth man for that man when he did when he did that song with pimp c man i say man yeah all right with me man you run your, you that was a big feature from Dallas, man. <laughs> yeah, man. When I heard that one, that was big, man. So I'm gonna man, what about what man. you remember the one he did with um uh uh um Charlie Boy elbows out the window. Yeah, <laughs> man. Like, yeah, yeah that, that was dope. Okay, I said then I'm gonna say uh uh then uh third one. Who I'm gonna go three three? Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna oh, throw. I don't know if I if, if I if I should count these as a group or or, or solo, man. I'ma throw. I would say, man, since I did stay in the north, man, I gotta say uh, that boy, Mr. Pookie, man. You know what I'm saying? I'ma throw him man. on there, man. Dallas legend, man. He did that man. that crook for life. It it broke down doors and shit. Let niggas know. Yeah. I, I be hearing people right now uh, rapping and singing that song from where yeah. I'm at. So right, you know man. I'm gonna yeah. throw throw him on there. You know what I'm saying? That's what three. How much? Uh, what, what's that? You got three? two more. Two more. Two more. Okay. So and then well then I guess I got to throw his partner in rhyme. I'm gonna throw Lucci on there too, man. You gonna throw Lucci on there? Okay. Yeah, so you gonna yeah. you gonna put Lucci on four? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm just saying, I was just with Lucci the other night. I'm gonna throw as as he said. I'm gonna throw the triple D gold in that. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, yeah. And yeah. And then. And then <laughs> And then so so what's it, so I got one okay. more right? Yeah, you got one more. And then this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna bow my head on this one, and I'm gonna say R.I.P. to Mo Three because I say I feel like Mo Three probably been the most talented artist that come, ever come out of Dallas, man, with that rapping and singing. Now check me if I'm wrong, but before him, I don't remember too many uh, Dallas rappers rapping and singing. Well, rapping is was uh, rapping and singing before before Mo three. <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong. I might be wrong, but I don't know. Who it, is. Like, it was I to mean, me to me. It was either you rap or you sing. You ain't do I mean, both of them. I mean, Simo C- and all them was doing that. If it, you oh, could, you okay. see, you got to realize it was a whole era with Diamond D records. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Simo. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, King of Hooks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mm-hmm. It was a couple okay. of niggas I heard, it, you know. It was a couple of niggas I heard doing that shit. Like uh, even before Mo Three out, you know, came out, you know, uh, my boy Melo, you know, what I'm saying he was from Atlanta. He used to be out here. He used to do his thing. And, um, he used to be older. He used to fuck with uh, Quint Black and shit too. And he used to drop a lot of shit. But you know, them niggas never prospered with that shit. You know what I'm saying? And then not only that, you know. You know, I'm not when I what I'm what I'm saying is this is that now you know I ain't saying that you know these niggas had this style of woo woo you know what I'm saying but that was that was Mo three on style he did have his own style but you know zero and all them was already doing that Bone Thugs and Harmony yeah. and then was always doing that and yeah. there was a lot of artists from Dallas that was doing it in their own way because I can remember Big Dank and them they used to harmonize and rap at the same time you know what I'm saying with Highland Hills HAP records and oh, shit okay. like that but okay. it never okay. it just never just took that you know it never just you know but Mo three made it sound good and they had the badass beats. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Mo 3. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not taking shit away from that nigga because he he did came and gave that bitch a whole nother flavor. He gave that bitch some soul, some spark, some life, and, and some more things. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm with man. you. I'm with you on that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's why I like locking in with guys such as yourself that, that you can bring up Dallas history that you own it too. So, man, that's why I like right. locking in with guys such yeah, as yourself. Yeah. 
Yeah, hey, yeah. And then you know shit. I mean, just go check out some old shit, man. You you will see. I'm gonna have to see some shit, man. I'm gonna have to see some Gator, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to see some Mo Ink. You know what I'm saying? Some Froze okay. Only and shit. Yeah, some, send it you to know, me, man. Send it to you know, me. You know, our, I'm music yeah. all day, man. I'm music yeah, all man. day, so send it to me, man. Now, R.I.P. Say, R.I.P. to uh P.J. Hammer, man. Say, man, the boy just passed away, man. I just got that news, man. I had to say that one time. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Like, man. R.I.P. Yeah. Now, now, real nigga shit. You know, um, but man, now, man, Dallas always has some spit. Like Blowfly, Blowfly is a motherfucking spitter, man. Blowfly is a goddamn he say. That nigga say that 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 boy beast. But it was like, and then I, it's a nigga from South Dallas that used to be a beast, nigga, two piece. And then, um, uh, D, 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 uh, what, what, uh, what that boy, uh, Double D, Double D from, uh, DSR, that boy was bad. And Tum Tum, you know, he got some shit, but you know, it's a lot of us out here, though. I, I mean, it's a lot of them out here, man. It's like, I can keep going, going on, on from, you know, elite stars, you know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn it. And, oh, I can't forget. I'm gonna tell you another hard nigga. That nigga hard in the motherfucker. I can't. I can't. Get, he used to call himself Lil Ross, but he changed his name to um uh uh uh. I think it's Seven Shots. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he changed his name to Seven Shots, and that boy say that boy raw too. Right. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, but yeah, that's just little people I just wanted to turn you on to. And uh, okay. um, yeah, them, them boys go hard. And then you'll see the whole camp. Once you listen to some Gator Man, you're going to see the uh, camp. You're going to see Obama on that. You know what I'm right. saying? Uh, all them boys on there. You know what I'm saying? And then I can't forget R.I.P. to my boy C. Shrugs. God damn me. That's C. my name. Yeah. Okay. Okay. C. Shrugs. Man, the fat crib, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I say. Guess. I know about hey, him. Man. I, I briefly knew about him a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Music wise, there he is. Yeah, man. Yeah, his partner just passed away not that long ago, too. Big Tank. Oh, okay. okay R.I.P. Big Tank. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, it's mm -hmm. like, man, say, it's a lot. But I just had to throw out there, man, it's a lot of things going on in the D. But, man, the D, man, say, it's, it's looking good, man. We got some yeah. new characters coming out. You know what I'm saying? We got some new, some new shiners coming out. You know what I'm saying? They doing their thing. You know, right? Oh so, yeah, oh yeah, man. They 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 putting on for the city. You know what I'm saying? So long as we keep it connected, man. You need to check out that new Pookie Leroy too, man. He, I mean, they well, it's been out for a little bit now, but he got that cipher freestyle. Yeah, I, I peeped that. Yeah, I peeped that. But uh, is it the Grove or is it, is it Dallas? I didn't. Man, it's Dallas. It's everywhere. He he got everywhere. everywhere. He okay, got okay. Oak Cliff. Man, he got Single Hill on there, man. He got South Dallas in there. He got North Dallas on there. He got Grove niggas on there. You oh, know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Goddamn okay. me. Niggas from all over in that bitch. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. Yeah, man. For sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Twisted. Twisted Black dropping shit. You know what I'm saying? He come back home doing his thing. Right. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Yeah. It's, man. Yeah, man. It's up. You know what I'm saying? It's up. You know So... Boys better tune in, man, because you know we finna get on this new wave. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's going new wave of music, man. They putting the music, man. Putting your website together, man, and getting these people come straight to you and shit. Get them hands just like how we used to flip them CDs. Yeah, man, for sure. They control. For sure. Yeah, it's going back to us, man. But like I want to say, man, I want to say appreciate you, man, coming out rocking with me, man. Yeah, man, I appreciate you, man, for having me. man. Nah, for real, man, for real, for real, man. And I just want to say, uh. One thing in life, you always gotta stay lit, man. Shit, when shit, when you think, when you think shit ain't in your favor, man, you just gotta shit, just you just bag up, think, you know, spark up if you if you want to drink, you know what I'm saying? If you want to just hold your roll and shit, just know you got it. You know what I'm saying? Anything wow. that you want, anything that you think, nigga, you can manifest that. You know what I'm saying? It's yours. You know what I'm saying? Like what my nigga say, nigga, uh, Devin do say, all you gotta do is grab it grab it <laughs> you know what i'm saying right, right. so uh i want to say all of y'all appreciate y'all tuning in and the ones that ain't tuned in make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe make sure y'all go uh follow my boy kd psycho you know what i'm saying on his youtube you know what i'm saying instagram everything where everybody can reach you at 
Hey, KD Psycho. That's K-D-C-Y-C-O. Already, man. And, and we about this B.I. Yeah. Block a ton of feet. Hurt to slay you. Yeah. Better yeah. off the worst. Took the good. We can pay it. I don't took a ride. Little, 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 little,